What's up guys? Today we got a pretty interesting video. Today I want to cover something that I don't normally do. Um, normally I'm either on a tool truck talking with my tool guys or I'm showing you a different tool. I've heard a lot of comments about uh, people complaining because they only have a Mack truck or they only have a Matco truck or they only have a Snap-on truck and they've made the comment, I wished I had the other trucks to choose from because the prices are so much different. So I got to thinking, and I will always go back to my original statement that I've made several times on, on this channel, and that, that the tools are only as good as the guy that sells them to you. Because when it all breaks down, the warranty process is pretty much up to the dealer, whether he wants to warranty it with a set off his truck or break a set on the truck or whatever. Fortunately for me, we have probably some of the best tool dealers in the whole United States. These guys are phenomenal and they take excellent care of their customer, no matter what brand of truck that you're on. So I got to thinking about the price points and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video today. So you guys stick around cause this one is going to be interesting. All right guys, so like I mentioned in the intro, um, I'm a firm believer in the tools are only as good as the guy selling them to you. For instance, if Matco Michael left selling Matco tools and started a gear wrench route, I would purchase gear wrench tools from Michael because Michael has always taken care of me. The same thing goes with Hamilton or uh, Mac Daddy Michael, they're just phenomenal dealers and they go the extra mile to make sure that the customers are taken care of. And fortunately, I have all three of the tool trucks here and we have excellent dealers. So I've read a lot of the comments where guys are talking about, man, I wish I had a Matco truck, the prices are better, or I wish I had a Mac truck, the prices are better, or I don't even have a snap-on truck, but it's a good thing because they're way overpriced anyway. So I decided to pick a couple of different tools and let's look at them in this video and let's just compare the prices and see what the difference is. Now, before we start looking at the prices, once again, I go back to my original statement, the tools are only as good as the person that's selling them to you. Spending four or five dollars more for this tool, is it worth it to know that I'll always have that customer care, if you will, that my dealers provide? And I know that they'll stand behind the tools that they sell. To me, it's definitely worth the price increase to go with your favorite tool truck or your tool dealer. In my case, that's what I go off of. So I've picked some kind of random tools that guys would normally purchase off of a tool truck to look at, such as um, a 24 inch pry bar. And in my opinion, there's differences in the pry bars and we'll cover them in, a, in another video. But today we're strictly talking about the products and the price versus all three of the big hitters in the tool truck business. But we're gonna be looking at, it, say, a 24 inch pry bar. That's a pretty common thing that most guys will purchase off of a tool truck. We're gonna be looking at a 40 ounce dead blow, a quarter inch ratchet. I'm a ratchet guy. We'll, we'll just pick one that's pretty close on all three trucks. We'll go with like a five inch, that's pretty a standard, you know, sizing. Quarter inch, we'll just go with the standard handle, none of the fancy comfort grip stuff. And, um, you know, I'm a lock and extension guy. I prefer to use a lock and extension on my impact. So we'll pick a three eighths, six inch locking extension. That's a very common size. Um, I wanna price some of the stuff that we know they do not make, such as the uh, extractor test leads, you know, the retractable ones. I think Lang pretty much makes them for every company out there. So we'll look at some of those. I wanna look at some Nipex Cobras because we all know Nipex makes the best, you know, water pump style pliers on the market today. They're phenomenal. Um, we know the companies don't actually make them, but of course, Matco sells them, Mac sells them, and Snap-on sells them. So that automatically out of the gate tells you they're the best that you can get. That's why all three trucks carry them. We'll price stuff like that and uh, just kind of see how it boils down at the end of the video. 
So what I'll do is I'll put actually a screenshot up here of the actual tool company and the products that they sell. We'll do it in alphabetical order, and that way it's all fair, nothing's biased or whatever. I have no idea what the outcome of this is going to be. We'll do Mac, Matco, and then Snap-on in that order since it is alphabetical. And we'll just take a look at the products and how it all boils down. So this one is gonna turn out pretty cool. I don't know that anybody's ever done this, so let's take it and see where it goes. All right, so first up will be the Mac. Of course, all of these will be the same pry bars. It'll be striking caps. Is the Mac, theirs is a 25 inch pry bar. It is made in the United States. It is $77.99, a lifetime warranty, of course. And um, it appears that it's a half inch shank that's in this pry bar. The next one we'll look at is from Matco. And it also is a 25 inch curved pry bar. The price on that one is $79.95. It's also made in the United States, has the striking cap. It also has a half inch shank that's inside of it. The next one we'll look at is from Snap-on. It's a 24 inch striking pry bar, $78. And it appears that it has a 7 16th shank in it. And it's also made in the United States. So there's all three, you see the prices, there's not a whole lot of difference. Once again, my statement is true, it just boils down to what feels best in your hand, what you like better, and who is the best dealer that you know is going to take care of you in case you do have a problem. Remember, all tools break or they wear out. That's just the nature of the business and they're only as good as the guy that sells them to you. So let's take a look at the 40 ounce dead blow hammer. That's a common size and most guys now, they prefer the dead blow style over the old wooden handle. So I think that'll be a fair comparison between all three. And we'll take a look at Mac because it's in alphabetical order first. So let's take a look at it. All right, you can see the Mac, um, they call it a compo cast dead blow ball peen hammer. It is a 40 ounce. The price is $114.99. It has a lifetime warranty on it. It does not state that I can see where it's made. I have no clue if it's made in the United States or not, but you know, I would assume they'd put it on there if it was. So let's now take a look at the Matco 40 ounce dead blow. So there it is. Of course, this one's green. The color does not dictate the price in any way. It's a 40 ounce ball peen hammer. The price is $110.95. And it is made in the United States. That's a plus in my book for Matco. It's always nice to have something made here in America if it's possible. But I mean, of course, a lot of overseas companies make excellent tools. Prime example, Nipex, they're made in Germany. The Nipros tools, they're made in Japan. You just kind of have to look at the source of the tools and kind of the reputation behind the company. So now we'll take a look at Snap-on and see what their 40 ounce dead blow is and how much it cost. All right, so there's the 40 ounce ball peen soft grip dead blow hammer from Snap-on. It's $127.50. And you can see at the bottom, it is made in the United States, also with a lifetime warranty. So the next thing we'll take a look at is the quarter inch ratchets. We'll just pick a five inch or as close as they have to a five inch. And I understand there's different grades of ratchets on each truck. For example, Snap-on sells Blue Point. Uh, Silver Eagle sold by Matco and Expert is sold by Mac. So we're going to be looking at the truck name. So Snap-on will be a Snap-on ratchet, Mac will be a Mac ratchet, and Matco will be a Matco ratchet. So first up will be the Mac, and it is a quarter inch drive, five inch, of course all metal handle, and it's $82.99. And as you see, it is made in the United States. So next up will be the Matco ratchet. As you see, it is a five inch ratchet and 88 tooth. It's $87.95. 
Of course, with all the ratchets, they will have a lifetime warranty. So up next will be the snap-on. As you can see, that is the T72 snap-on. It's an 80 tooth standard handle ratchet. Um, it is four and seven sixteenths inches long, and that's the closest that I could find. And the price of it is $97. So the next thing we'll take a look at is the locking impact extensions. I chose a six inch. It's a pretty common size that most guys will use. So first up will be the Max. So let's take a look at it. There you can see the picture of it. It is a three H drive locking six inch long extension. Of course, in the picture it shows extension set because it was actually part of a set, but I pulled the individual part number out. That price is $63 and 99 cents. Next up will be Matco. You can see it's pretty much the same look to it. It's $58.65. It is also a 3 8 drive, six inch locking extension impact. So last up will be Snap-on. As you see, it is $63.50. Also a 3 8 drive, six inch locking impact extension. So you see there's not a huge difference in price no matter which company that you go with. So once again, my statement rings true. Always pick the best tool truck dealer that you have that will take care of you and your tools going forward. So now let's look at some of the stuff that we know the tool companies don't make, such as a Nipex Cobra. Uh, my favorite size in the Nipex Cobra that I use in the shop is a 10 inch. I prefer it, still got the smaller head so you can get in tight places and it's got the leverage enough to do the job. We all know that Nipex is sold on all three tool trucks. Some of them put their name on them along with the Nipex name that's forged into them and some of them just leave it straight up Nipex. So does that affect the price in any way? That's what we're gonna take a look at. So first up will be Mac. As you see, Max part number is a P10C. It is a Cobra 10 inch Nipex plier. Their price on it is $63.99. So now let's take a look at Matco. As you see, it is a 10 inch Nipex Cobra. Their part number is a PC10. Pretty similar to the other part number. And it is $65. So last up is Snap-on. Of course, Snap-on doesn't put their name on it. They just leave it straight up Nipex where Matco and Mac both put their name either on the handle or on the head or in some cases both. So does that have an effect on the price? So here's Snap-on's website. As you see, it is a 10 inch Cobra by Nipex. You can still see the Nipex on the handle. It's $49.75. I'm sure it costs the tool companies a little extra money to put their name on the tool or on the handle. At the end of the day, they want to warranty it out. They wanna make sure that it was purchased through Matco or Mac, and I understand that. You know, it keeps a guy from running to Amazon and buying something of a lesser value or for purchasing it for a cheaper price and damaging it and taking it back to the tool truck to get it warrantied which depletes their stock because the next guy down the road may want to purchase it. I understand that completely. To me, it's worth the extra money. Because from my understanding, if you wear the teeth off of a Nipex Cobra, they're not warranted um, unless you purchased it from a tool truck and they'll warranty it out for no problem. I may be wrong with that, but that's what I've heard from a couple of different trucks. Somebody might need to check on that. I'm not really sure. I just know what I heard. To me, I'd rather purchase local from my guys than give my money to Amazon whenever possible. Of course, there's times where you have to order tools from Amazon. I've done it, I understand it, and I realize that. You know, there's, there's been a time where we needed a yoke nut socket. I called all three tool trucks, nobody had one. I look on Amazon, they've got a gray pneumatic that I can buy for a fraction of the cost. I can have it here in two to three days if I wasn't willing to pay the overnight shipping. So should I wait for my tool guy in that instance to order it in, it may be two weeks or so before I get it when I got a job sitting here? Absolutely not. 
Amazon has its place along with a lot of other online retailers. I just personally prefer to buy it off the tool truck whenever possible, even on items such as a Streamlight flashlight. This one has the Matco on it where I purchased it from Matco Michael. I just like the fact of knowing that I can buy it from my tool truck. If something happens to it, give it back to them and get another one. Of course, the first light that I purchased, I actually got it from Hamilton, or I may have even bought it from Joe. I know the little bitty stream light that I bought, I bought it from um, Hamilton. So, you know, I just kind of try to spread it around between my guys. So the last thing I want to look at is another product that we know is rebranded, and that is the Lang Retractable Test Lead Kit. Some of the companies leave name Lang's name on them. Some of them cover it up or have their name printed on it, but we all know that Lang builds them for these companies, and you can actually buy the Lang brand off of Amazon or whatever, but that goes back to what I was stating previously. I'd rather purchase it from a tool truck for my guys locally. To me, that's important because I've gotten to know Hamilton. Um, I consider him a friend. You know, I think a lot of his children and his wife just don't dare her. You know, the same way with Natco Michael. You know, I know his wife, and, you know, he's got three of the most awesome little kids ever. Same way with, you know, Mac Daddy Michael. He's got a super cool wife, and, you know, we even got to play with his dog. I mean, it's just that personal relationship that you that you develop with these guys and that leads me to want to purchase from them versus an online company. So let's take a look at Mac first and look at these test leads. As you can see it is a three-piece test lead set. That means it has the three different wires and there's a green, orange, or green, red, and black and it does roll up. The price is $25.99 and obviously it's a rebranded lane. So let's take a look at the Matco one. Same thing here, obviously a lane rebrand. It's $24.95, the same three wire, 10 foot long. And last up is the Snap-on. They actually left the lane name on it. You can see it's the three wires, 10 foot long, retractable test leads and it's $22.25. All right, guys, as y'all clearly see, it's not a huge difference in, in prices. You know, like I, I feel like a lot of people that watch this video that only have a, a say a Snap-on truck or only have a Matco truck or only have a Mac truck, the reason why they say, man, I wished I had that truck is because they don't have one and they don't really check the prices of it. And I understand that. But there's not a huge difference in prices between the trucks. It all boils down to how good of a tool truck dealer that you have. The guy holding the steering wheel is what should dictate your purchases on a tool truck. You know, because everybody's got a lifetime warranty now. It's just how easy is it to get replaced. Anyway, guys, that's my video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I think it's a little something different and maybe it'll clear the air, you know, with some of these guys that say, I only have this truck or I only have that truck. There's not a huge difference in prices. Um, you know, support who you like, uh, spend your money with who you like to spend your money with and don't let others influence you. You know, if you feel like, hey, I had rather purchase this do what you want to do. It's America. You can buy whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want, and do whatever you want to with it. I mean, that's the beauty of the country we live in, and we have that choice. Don't let others dictate what you decide to purchase. You guys have a great week. Like always, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's free. It never costs you a dime. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya. Do y'all realize how much stuff that is to try to memorize just for a video? Whew. Brain smoking.